Welcome back to my series of videos on pointers for the data abstraction class using C++. In this video I want to talk about why you use free or why you use new and delete as opposed to malloc and free. In C, uh, malloc was your primary way of getting memory, since for memory allocation, and technically you can use this in C++, but you shouldn't. Okay? Not unless you're doing something very advanced and you really know what you're doing. Your default way of getting things is new. And because new is simpler, you'll probably want to do it that way uh, anyway. But we should look at really why this is. So in the example code we wrote last time, we created this uh, array of integers of a size that was read in from the user. And that uh, was a nice usage of new. Things to note here, had we done this with malloc, what would this have looked like? Well we would have done a malloc and we would have had to pass it the size of what we wanted which would be size times size of int here. It's an expression that we can mess up and because malloc returns a void star we probably need to cast this to an int star. This type of cast is actually not what you're supposed to do in C++ so instead we would write a C++ style cast there will be more details about this over the course of the semester, but it would look something like that. Okay. Oh, which, as I was saying, it's longer, it's more complicated, it's more error prone. So the new is simpler, but that's not really the reason why you're going to use new. You're going to use new because it's kind of essential that you do it. And to understand this, we need to do new on something other than a simple int. And instead of making an array of integers, how about we make ourselves a little class here. I'm going to pick the absolutely horrible name, which you should never use in your own code, called stuff. Okay. And I don't have much inside of stuff. I will go ahead and put a private int. We'll call it i inside of here. It really doesn't matter. But what is going to matter is the fact that we have a constructor on this. And so we're going to put a default constructor and stuff, and I'm going to go ahead and write it inside of the class. If this were a larger class, I'd probably break these things across files. I'd have a header file and a CPP, but that's not what we're going for here. And I want to, for some reason, initialize i to 9801. Okay. Um, and now we're going to make it so that this array is a pointer to that class of... Okay, I think all of our prints will still be happy. Let's make sure that compiles. If I were to... So when I make these, I can now do something like this, C out D A R R sub zero dot I Oh I is private. Uh, I should be private because we should not make mutable public data, but I don't feel like putting an accessor method on here, so I'm going to make it public, which is sloppy, and you shouldn't do that, but it's it will make it easier for us to do this particular example. And notice there's this print right here, 9801, which comes from that line right there. I'll get rid of this call to F. Okay. So this worked. This did what it was supposed to. Turns out that if I, instead of calling uh, new here, if I had called malloc, in fact we could do this, static cast to a stuff star of malloc of size time size of stuff, comment out the new part, have that in there correctly? Apparently so. 99. <clears throat> that print that had been a 9801 is now 0. Yeah. Uh, why is that? Well, I think I'm going to have to do because I'm going to be 
be switching between these quite frequently. Let's go back to the new and just verify that. Okay, 9801, which is what we expect, and that's what should happen. Because when you create an object of a type, the uh, a constructor is going to be going to be called. Be, when I make an array of them, it is going to be called the default constructor, and the default constructor set this to 9801. Why didn't that happen with malloc? Well, it basically comes down to when you use malloc, malloc just makes a chunk of memory. It does not say that that chunk of memory is a whole bunch of objects of a particular type. So if I put a print statement in here, and I just want to print something that says, hey, we're in the constructor. And I run this, and I'm going to go with 99 again. Boom! Well, this is printing out 99 times the line calling the constructor. And then we get 9,801. What happens if I use malloc? Ninety-nine. None of those printed. Okay. So the call to new when you make a new array using new, it doesn't just allocate the sufficient memory. It actually goes through and calls the default constructor on every one of the values. And that's very important because when you're in C++, and it, so for ints, technically it doesn't matter. But if you're not using primitive types, if you're using real classes, they need to be initialized properly. If this were something like an STD string, not calling the proper initialization on a string could give you complete garbage. Same thing goes with a, with a vector. So we need to make sure that we're using new and delete so that things are, are dealt with properly. Not only does it new call the constructor, turns out delete calls the destructors, and part of the reason why you need these brackets here is to make sure that we'll call the destructor on all of the elements of the array. So that's it for, um, for our discussion of new versus malloc. Hopefully that emphasizes to you why you need to use new, why you can't use malloc. And we'll come back in the next video and we'll talk about the related concept of references.